Nico still probably going to be the number one in this PR, maybe. I haven't. Um, I can't give you anything. Not yet? Not can't yet. give you anything, man. Sorry. Wait, when does the PR season end? December, right? Uh, December's the last month. Yeah, so December. we have one more month. Yeah, one more month. It's still too early to count it out. Alright, so we have Moonbray versus K9. K9 has been working as Lucina. Uh, Wolf, kind of a very volatile matchup versus Ness. Uh, I feel like spaces always have been where they're so glass cannony. Where if they overextend one or two times, that Ness is the kind of character that blows them up for it. Mm -hmm. Where Lucina, kind of always been one of Ness's worst matchups. Yeah, we did see how Lucina is able to handle against characters like Lucas as well, too, so... I mentioned it earlier, right? Lucas is a has a little bit of an easier time against Swords, but Ness has a very difficult Ooh. time. And Lumbre, he didn't reconnect the PK Thunder to the ground where he could cancel it to come back onto the stage and grab a ledge. So I think what happened was he saw K9 jumping in on him and thought maybe he could bring it around to K9 and yeah. actually get a bit of damage, use it aggressively. But then he realized he couldn't hit K9 and wasn't able to bring it into the ground early enough. Could use the PK Fire. He knew that he ran out of ledge invincibility, so he chose to punish him for it too. Right, these, the double mirror off of a short hop there. He's gonna be able to force K9 off, but once again, it's Bloombray on the ledge. The side magnet on stage. Nice, good use of side stock trying to come back on the stage. Falling off air into the back throw. Not the stock here, but it does buy Bloombray with stage. And Ooh. good use of up smash. It does start out from the bottom if you do hang it up from the ledge, you know. Yeah, if he actually didn't even hang that one, he just said, This is the time you're gonna do a get up. Yeah. Oh, not that enough was, range. You know what? That was a good choice from K9, but Bloomberg just spaced it so well yeah. that he was barely able to escape that situation. If Marth was better, that would have been curtain. <laughs> if it were Marth, but hey man, I'm only hoping for buffs for what we see here as we see and K9. The death play here puts Bloomberg off the stage. Yeah, he gets the two from the down tilt. Oh, good, good okay. tech. Good tech. That would have been good for Ken to actually go for a counter because it would have stopped Lucas from coming back on the stage. It would have been enough damage. I feel like well. maybe he wanted it, but you know he wasn't able to drop off and get the counter out in time. Mm -hmm. He goes for the high up B2 also to avoid getting hit by his uh, Ness forward air. I think this is really just showing K9 really knowing the matchup so far. Yeah. He's been playing around Ness's options so well. He knows, okay, when he's going to try and go off. Perfectly covers that air dodge, just like I was talking about right now. Knows what Ness is going to be looking for and how to punish him. I like the Nair at the ledge. It's such a safe option. You can drift back with it and it'll still cover most of the get-up option. Afro, able to survive the gate thunder. He, I like the fact he tried to go for an early up so and have to get hit by it. Cannon has to resort to going for the sides here. Right, looks for the grab, but he does not find a good spot dodge into the jab. Just going to keep K9 alive. A grab at this percent, I don't really think it matters where Flum will be it, but Rising Nair going to catch the jump, and that will be the stop. Mm -hmm. Lumber not out of this one, obviously. No, Only 42%. Uh, he has some crazy stuff that can even this game up pretty quickly, but he has to play it so carefully. Uh, we're seeing him stand still quite a bit, because he can't really approach this scene. The sword's going to be out any option he has. Oh, that was really close for Kinen too, especially going for that fair forward air on the shield. He would have missed space or if Lumer would have definitely caught him out of it. Up throw. Fun up throw. Interesting choice. I kind of thought maybe we could try and put him on a platform, but instead just try to poke him from under with the PK Thunder. I was going to say, he's got to watch it for that back air. A lot of, a lot of uh, Ness's like, aerials are pretty distinct too. It's forward air, back air. Nice. Empty hop, back throw. Kinen sets up with the edge guard here. And then up smash our shield, that will catch him rolling away. I feel like at that last situation too, Keenan wanted to play a little bit defensive and watch out for, for Ness, but he's also got, uh, got, he's got to understand one thing. You have to watch out when you roll because Ness can call you out for it and then go for PK fire and trap you. So you can't, you got to watch out with your tech rolls too. Being tech chased by Ness, not a lot of fun. Can I kept that game relatively close though, honestly. He had a, he kind of had a little, bit, a little bit on the edge of the seat. I am going to be staying with Lucina. It was a very close game. He was in command for so long, but Lumbre was able to bring it back in the end. Mm -hmm. I like that the pick is staying. Be confident in your secondaries, you know? Most definitely, too. You can't call him a secondary until you put in time and work. You not only have to put in time and work, but you have to understand to take the W's and the L's of the character maintain. 
nice. I do like the fact that Kanan is trying to stick to the aerial game, avoiding PK fires, but also he's got to be careful. Moonbreak can call him out there off of it with a forward air. Nice. Stalls that last hit of forward air, too. Right, and there's another down tilt. He's going to try an air dodge in, and once again, the third jump of Ness's air dodge, as I like to call it. Goes so far, man. I don't, I don't think K9 expected that to actually reach. He was looking to finally get a real punish instead of just a down tilt to push him off. Oh, an air dodge? Yeah. It's because Ness has like a really good, like ridiculously yeah. good, like aerial trips with the air dodge, too. Yeah, exactly. Now, and especially when you have like uh, directional air dodges, too. It's even, it's like a buff to the character's like full recovery. You, it's a third jump. Yeah, it pretty much is. Oh, yeah, the, there's and, the counter. And I mentioned how it's really good against characters like Ness and Lucas, too. Yeah, that's going to be exactly what K9 wants. Sitting only at 56, this is very comfortable for him. And you can see K9's patient play going for a lot of empty hops, too. But like I mentioned earlier, Luber's going to have to catch up to that and probably call him out for going for those. Yeah, but the up the uh, shield, Luber can't actually do anything about it. Even on the way down, he's really too far away and he can't throw a BK Thunder. Forward air, nice. Cut this man going for a jump, and K9 has no jump force to go for the up beat. I feel like I feel like Lumbre does want to call him up for going for aerials, but the big problem here is like when you mention a sword that's more disjointed than your aerials, yeah. it becomes a problem. Nice. Back there, not gonna be it. No, that is at the ledge. He has some rage on him. Yeah. Oh, that could be very dangerous. He actually almost got the PK Thunder. That definitely would have killed him, actually. Yeah. And Lumbre is actually kind of known for going for those. You know, he, he can bring that bad. Yeah, it, it's able to get you on a pretty pretty solid mix up if you're not ready for MPK Fire. He caught K9 going for a jump. Nice. Oh, he oh. wanted to do a back air. Yeah, and that was a really smart, aggressive option. We've seen Lumbre kind of over and over go for the safe options, not challenging. K9 giving him a sense of security there. Yeah. And that was the time where he had to pull the trigger and say, no, you can't just do that. And he hard read on the roll. It's because he wanted to get out of disadvantage that fast and then punish the for it too, but unfortunately it cost him the stock and a little bit of a lead here. Oh, he... Oh, That no. was a neutral air dodge. That was a neutral air dodge. That's really unfortunate. I think he was just scared of the uh, back air from K9. Uh, had to get out as fast as possible and just maybe slick off the... Yeah. And there's an up smash. Goes for back air. Another up air here, and Kinan still surviving here. He's feeling a lot of Loombray's aerials. Yeah, and this is looking really good for Loombray. He gets the parry, but he doesn't get the grab. This is where Kinan needs to turn up right now and not let Loombray back onto center stage. But as I say, that Loombray able to take oh. control. He has him at the ledge, and that's an up smash. I had a feeling that he was, was going to come back for that option, but that was like Kanan's demise here. I felt like he should have just took in the jump and then understand that Lumbre committed to going for that smash attack. Yeah, and that was really unfortunate. Kanan put himself on the ledge right there. In yeah, the end. he did. I don't think that's...